Hello everyone and welcome to Badger Workshop. So Trend last year sent me this router table and they've just released the T14 router to go with it. So today I'm going to get this built, get the router mounted in it and uh, give it a go. So I started by getting it unpackaged. That's probably a really obvious thing to say. Anyway, near the top of it all, I found the instruction manual. So I thought the first job should be to get a cup of tea, sit down and have a look through it. Yeah, it looks simple enough. So as I say, looked easy enough. So I continued getting it unpackaged. Everything was really nice heavy duty, so I was pleased to see that, and it was all nicely packaged. And all the nuts and bolts were all individually bagged up. The first stage is to get the frame bolted together, and it requires eight of these longer bolts with washers on. So they just go through, and then there's threaded inserts in the other bit of the frame, and they just get tightened up. It comes with an Allen key, but I always prefer to use a ratchet, so I did that. So with the first leg on, the next step, surprisingly enough, was to put the second leg on. Again, in exactly the same way. With those legs on, it's now these cross members, which again, go on with the same bolts and just screw into place. So it's great that this has got leveling feet, but before I've even got this finished, I'm already planning a modification. And I'm thinking I'll swap these out to some screw-in casters because I like everything on mobile bases. The top definitely has some weight to it, which is good because it won't sag over time. Now that gets bolted on with four bolts and washers, the slightly shorter ones this time, and then just go through the frame into some threaded inserts in the top. Now for the fence, which is a really heavy aluminium casting. It's got this dust port which just slides on in a couple of tracks and then has a couple of screws to lock it into place. Into the top track go these little nuts with springs and star knobs and then these bars go in which I haven't actually worked out what they are for yet. Some kind of extension to the fence, I imagine, but I'm sure I'll find out. The auxiliary fence goes on the front, a couple of star knobs through the fence into threaded inserts and tightened up. This can then slide back and forth to change the opening for different size router bits. It has storage on the back of the fence for these pins, which you can use to support work pieces and then these T-bolts go into the slot, the fence goes over, a washer goes on, and then these long handles go on to tighten it all down. On the front of the fence there's another track, so more T-bolts go into there, washers, and then a feather board can go on with this guard, another washer, and then some star knobs to tighten it up. It has a second feather board which goes on the front into the mitre bar. So these little bars go in and when you tighten up they expand to lock in place. So two of those get fitted and then the feather board goes on top washers and star knobs again to lock it in place. It comes with a couple of hooks that go onto these brackets and then these get screwed to the underneath at the back of the table and this is just going to be some cable management for when the router gets fitted. I 
missed this step off earlier, but I had to undo these bolts and put these little hooks on for accessories. So I pushed it one side and might have gauged the other. So I'm going to stop putting this together even though I've got a pile of bits left over. I've got the NVR switch and the mounting brackets, but I don't think I'll need them because the new router comes with one. I've got the levelling screws for the table, but again I want to get the router mounted first. And I've got the tape, but until I use it I don't know where I want the tape to go, so I'm going to wait for that. So the next job is have a look at the router. So this is the Trend T14 router, which has just been released, and it's really designed to go in router tables, because it's got a couple of features that really make it great for that, and you'll see in a bit. So the first job is to get the guide bush installed and centered. So it comes with this cool little bit that goes into the collet and gets tightened down. Then you can plunge the base down, flick a switch, and it just gets locked into that position. Then you can get the guide bush, put over this little bit, and then it becomes perfectly centered, so you can get a couple of screws in to lock it into place. Now, I'm just going to take it out again, as I have no need for this in a router table. But one thing I definitely do want is dust collection. So this little bit fits in and has a couple of captured nuts and gets screwed in from the base. Then this tube goes on top, I had to remove a bolt, and then the bolt goes back in and tightened up to lock that in place. Right, now for the party trick of this router, the NVR switch. Now, this is very clever. You just stick a little tool into the handle, pop it open and screw this on. It has four pins, but it only goes on one way, so you can't mess it up. Now this means if there's a power cut and the power goes off, the tool won't come back on again. So it's a good safety feature. Now to get it mounted into the base plate. Just three screws secured in place that I can drop the cables through the hole and just easily drop this down, or so I thought. Now I can install all these grub screws and wind them down with an allen key until the router plate is level with the table. Then I can get some other screws in to lock the plate to the table so it doesn't move. So this came with some mounting brackets for the MVR switch, but I was worried they wouldn't fit the new MVR, but they're exactly the same size, so that was very well thought out design. So I can get that mounted to the front of the table. So the other thing that makes the T14 great in a router table is this height adjustment from above the table. Seems to work really well. It did come with other bits, so there's the MVR that I don't need, these inserts I will, and there's the fence for the router. So now you can see how well this switch works. So that's it all done. I'm not going to test it out now because I don't have any half inch router bits. It's the weekend, so I don't want to make any noise and I think it's better just to use it on a project, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm really impressed with the build quality and some of the features. Being able to adjust the height from above the table is obviously great. The NVR switch is pretty cool how that all works. The miter gauge fits really well in the miter slot, and when you buy a new tool, they never fit, just the ones that are supplied with it, so that's great. Um, so, thank you very much, Trend. I'll put links down to this table and the router down below. Thank you to my patrons, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I thought it was going to fit for a second.